Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Nida Basu here who's recently got into Microsoft as a support engineer through her campus placements at VIT and she's here to share her interview experience with us. So before we talk to her, let's just look at the eligibility criteria. So the eligible branches were CS, IT, ECM and ECE. Uh, 10th and 12th uh, uh, marks were 60% or 6 CGP above and 80% or 8 CGP above in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears were the eligibility criteria. Hi Nidha, welcome to my channel. Firstly, congratulations on your placement and thank you for doing this. So, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, hello everyone. I am Nidha Basu and I am pursuing my BTEC degree in Electronics and Communication Engineering from Bellar Institute of Technology, Chennai. And uh, presently, I'm in, a, in my fourth year of study. And I'll be starting off my internship with Microsoft from April onwards. So, yeah, that's pretty much okay. my intro. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, now, would, uh, could you tell us the hiring process, like how many rounds are there and what they comprised of? Okay, uh, so the first thing which we got was we got a mail. Uh, uh, we all have the campus interaction portal. Uh, the uh, placement people will know. And so uh, there was uh, this Microsoft had come for this uh, support engineer role. And uh, we were asked from the university to fill in the details. So I think the uh, shortlisting was done based on the CV which we had uploaded there in the campus interaction portal. Okay. So we get a mail on the 15th of September that uh, the hiring process will start off from 16th and the first round was of GD. Okay. So uh, yeah, so uh, 16th, uh, on 16th the GD started uh, at around 10.45 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were 97 students who were shortlisted for the GD round itself. Okay. So uh, there were 11 panels for the GD and uh, each panel uh, consisted of around 9 members for the candidates and the panel members from the Microsoft team. Uh, so, I uh, in my uh, GD round, the topic that was given to me was IoT in agriculture and like uh, unlike the normal GD which happens, this was like it took in a ro round robin fashion. So, it was like every candidate was given uh, two minutes of time to tell whatever they want to tell on the topic and the second round was of one minute time where you have to sum up whatever you want to tell. So, yeah, it went on like that and I remember, uh, like, they had, it was a very uh, random fashion manner, like, they didn't have any uh, particular list or order, so they just uh, told, this, this is the order and you have to follow. In the next round also, it was a very random order they had chosen. So, okay. after the GD, uh, people were shortlisted and then for the technical interview, so I am not very sure whether there were any shortlisting for the technical interview which I think there was hmm. but then we just get a mail and it's written the names are written around so there uh, the technical interview started from around 3 p.m. that day itself okay so yeah my turn was at around 5 p.m. that day so technical interview it was like it went on for an hour and 15 minutes like it's usually the longest for all hmm. the interviews <laughs> so there the questions are uh, basically uh, for me, uh, they ask which domain you are comfortable with. Like for every placement technical interview, they ask you whether you are comfortable with DSA. The basic codings they ask for the companies that require or the roles that require. But apart from that, for my role, then I uh, they gave me an option, OS, networking like that. So mm -hmm. I prefer networking since I had done my uh, computer and networking subject as an elective in the 6th sem. So I was confident with the networking topic. So then I chose the networking domain. So then they ask the basic questions like difference between UDP, TCP mm -hmm. and the basic stuff like what happens when you type a certain URL and then they ask some logical questions as well like the most like puzzle type of questions like you have 3 liters of jar and 4 liters of jar and you have to make okay. some quantity of water mm -hmm. from them. Uh, this all were done. Now this got over at around 6-15 times for me. Like okay. It went on for an hour or so. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, we were asked like uh, at the end of the interview. So I asked the interviewer like what are the next rounds that needs to be followed. So you were like, you'll get a call or a mail from the placement cell if there is a uh, next round for you as well. Mm -hmm. So it was okay. And that's the moment of like 
you wait for that call mm. deliberately ki i should get because technical round most shortlisting happens in the technical yeah. round mm. itself mm. for all the companies and next comes the managerial round so what happened was at around uh, 8:45 pm i get a call from the people like the team so uh, he told like uh, i had an interview scheduled so as it was late so he asked like do you want to reschedule the interview or something but then i was okay with the time so okay. i uh i went for the interview so managerial was also around an hour for me because like uh they asked you the basic like the family structure the mm-hmm. background all they just go through it and then they ask you few logical questions here as well the puzzling questions and stuff like that so yeah it went for an uh hour or so and like at the end of that interview I remember the interview was like I'm I I'll tell you straightly that I'm very impressed with the interview and I'll uh, lead you for the next round. Okay. So I was sure ki okay fine chalo there is more hmm. rounds to come. So uh what happened was few uh, there were 29 students okay who were shortlisted for the managerial round. Now few of them like for me I had my interview on 16th itself right hmm. night. Okay. Hmm. For few of them they didn't get any mail or call okay. So uh, there was kind of an anxiety that whether they'll get or mm. they are not in the list. So what happens next day early morning, 7 a.m. We get another mail that these are the 29 students that are shortlisted for the managerial round. So the lot which was not done last night, they had it on 17th morning, okay. the managerial list. Okay. Mm. After that, in the afternoon, like it was around 2 p.m., we get another mail that there will be there will be another HR round. Okay. HR or managerial, whatever you mm-hmm. call it, mm-hmm. it's the same basically. But that will be just ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. Okay, and there were fifteen students who were shortlisted for the round. Mm-hmm. So by this time, we all had this notion that okay, chill out. Mostly. From nine to seven, it had cut mm-hmm. down to fifteen. So mostly, it's just a like formality kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. People will go, get through it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So and it was legit ten minutes only for the interview. Like they just. basically they ask you uh, to introduce yourself the basic pattern which follows introduce yourself and then they give you situations like mm. suppose you are in the company and you have a conflict with one of your mm. co-mates or something then what are, what will you do and all matlab like, they just see how you are a thought process or something okay so it just took 10 minutes and they just ask you one situation and the introduction which you, okay so that was done and we were like okay pretty much ki now Uh, mostly we are hmm. getting to it and we'll go. at around 6:30 pm uh, and probably on 17th okay hmm. this is on 17th six at around 6:30 pm we get a mail and there were just 10 names in the mail okay, okay and then they had uh, written it hey, there's a meeting uh, scheduled at 7 pm and all of you are it's mandatory and all of you have to join the meeting okay So then we were like, okay, there is like already we had four rounds until now. Okay, mm-hmm. so we were like, how many more rounds to go? <laughs> then 7 p.m. we all joined the meeting on 17th, and then um, all the team members were there from Microsoft, like HR people were there, then the technical recruits, all the everybody were there, mm-hmm. and we were ten of us uh, from the institute. So there it was like it was just congratulations and all that, That's and true. then they played a. Then they were like, okay, so we'll just select five of you from here, and you have a uh, fastest finger round and stuff. Okay, uh-huh. so that was basically uh, for a fun thing. Uh-huh. But at last, we came to know that okay, we ten of us had made it through the internship. Yeah, so on seventeenth, at around eight thirty, we get the final mail from the placement cell as well that these are the ten people who are selected for the internship. Okay, okay, that's it. Yeah, okay, that's great. Uh, Uh, thank you for sharing. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, do you have any suggestions for juniors who wanting to get into Microsoft? Okay. So, not only I'll not specifically tell about Microsoft. In uh, I'll just tell in general few things which I observed was firstly you should maintain a good CV. Like, do not ever try to bluff in your CV because it's very dangerous. And uh, I ha- before Microsoft, I had sat for four other companies. Okay. So what I have gained is like few companies they will scrutinize your CV in a very good way and they will ask you questions from the least expected part. So the projects you are working on be very careful 
of working on that projects as well as if you are very sure then alone you put it on your cv because otherwise if they ask and you cannot answer that will be a very mm-hmm. negative feedback on their part okay so be very good with your cv and you don't have to uh, exaggerate things in your cv just whatever you are just put up to that because it is not like ki if you put more things you you are chance of mm-hmm. getting into the company which gets higher okay so it's not that second of all yeah like for the non csc people especially because i am from a non csc background uh, i would suggest you ki uh, you take csc subjects as your electives at least one subject you can choose only for your electives because first year you are in touch with the coding so it it gets done like you know what are the basics and all but by the time you come to your fourth year it mostly happens that you forget what are the things you have learned so it's like again you have to go back and you have to start it from all over again so instead of that for the second and third years i would prefer you take uh, electives like you can take dsa you can take computer networking mm-hmm. you can take uh, oops you can take java programming then uh, there was one a uh, computer architecture and organization so basically any computer subject you take and then you go on and it will help you then you don't need to go through it all over again which is a tedious yeah. process because yeah. you have many things to look on while preparing for your interview right and then uh, yeah like coding thing i would suggest you you have many websites like lead code you can go for geek for kids anything like the coding part if you are very sure you want to go with the coding then only go ahead with the coding otherwise if you are afraid of coding or you think that it is not your domain then you stress on the aptitude part because there are companies which come for the aptitude and their selection is generally on the aptitude part right okay yeah uh, like uh, deloitte i think we had deloitte uh, screening based on the aptitude thing, right the english the aptitude and all so yeah you can go on with that and for the aptitude you can uh, refer to several sites like i did my aptitude from india vets so you can refer there are so many uh, sites in mm-hmm. and then even vit will have the exam day platform and stuff so there you get company uh, according to companies you get the test papers and also you can go for that as well hmm. and uh, lastly i would tell ki cv seniors are there we have been through that phase which you are going to be in right now so uh, like in my case also i had uh, contacted with my seniors and they had guided me in a very better way like i don't think teachers can guide you in that way as seniors can do right so yeah communicate with your seniors and any doubt or something which you have regarding any company or any placement preparation feel free to contact us because we are also there for you to help you in this journey right yeah so yeah that's it and do not panic because the freshers who are watching it guys you don't need to uh, hear the session <laughs> because you get panicked and yeah i have seen like recently one of the freshers she just entered into the college and she's like the what are the things we should do for the placement mm-hmm. so guys don't do enjoy your college life there's nothing to stress about and vid has a very good uh, placement yeah. statistics so you don't need to worry about placements it will be done gradually enjoy your college life but yeah meanwhile placements is a big thing so by the end of third like second year third year fourth year that's the time you should start preparing and will be to make it big thing mm-hmm. okay yeah, yeah. Okay thank you so much for sharing yeah yeah thank you